Hey guys, thanks for stopping back. We got the bumper cover put on the SRX here. The right hand side that got hit. I got the headlight fitting a lot better. The hood is bent kind of into shape there. So the body lines are looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. They're pretty equal on each side from the driver's side to the passenger side. So I'm gonna go ahead and start welding that inner structure in with everything bolted together. And then once I have a lot of the stuff tacked, I'm going to disassemble that and I'll finish welding the, the rest of the pieces up. So I'm going to try and get some footage of it and uh, show you guys what I'm doing. Alright, I'm just going to do a couple more welds. It's not going all that great. Um, I have a little 110 welder with some 023. I don't really like it. I've got good power here, but I just, I'm just so used to my Millimatic 251. It's got some 035. So uh, hopefully you guys don't need a, a lens up there, but just a couple more and you'll see what I'm doing. So I have the rest of the apron clip assembly, what I used, welded in. And uh, some of the welds aren't all that great. They're, they're, they're done, but it takes a little bit. Uh, you gotta pulse it so you don't burn through. Um, 035 is, uh, uh, you know, that's kind of a hard thing to do, but it is, but it isn't. It just doesn't look super pretty. But it's welded on there. Um, I, I would have, switched over to, to the O23 but for my 251 my Millimatic 251 I would have had to buy the rollers and the sheath and all that stuff I don't normally use that stuff so I'll grind these down I don't usually grind any of my welds um, so that's about it so that's what it looks like uh, when you're doing it with some O35 in a uh, clip just before this I I put in a text that it was 030, but it is 035 So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Try and tackle that hood With my spool gun and I'll film that I'll, I'll probably put that in a video and then after that Probably the next time you're gonna see this is Gonna be when it's all done because my buddy's gonna paint it and it, it probably won't be here all right, so we'll catch you in a bit. All right, we got the Millimatic 251 here, my 15A spool gun. We got some Helistar, which is pretty much like Trimix. It's just to weld aluminum. We'll get into that another time, anybody's interested. Um, the welder doesn't go as low as I want to do thin aluminum, so. This is going to be a, a, a trial, so I w it, that thing works really good. I welded some transmissions and some oil pans and stuff, but this is pretty thin. But we're going to see what it'll do. I got a filter I'm going to put on here uh, for you guys, so hopefully it cuts down the glare a little bit. Everything bothers my eyes, even if I watch welding on a, on a video. So... Um, we have a stainless steel brush right here, okay? To clean aluminum with, the crack is right here, okay? So I'm gonna preheat it with a, a heat gun just to get everything kind of warm and help that O30 wire so I can get just a couple quick, quick tags on that stuff so 
this hood doesn't flex and crack after we do all the body work okay so give me a minute here to put the put the filter on okay Okay, so let's go. Let's see what we can do. Let's heat this up a little bit. It's kind of heat the general area. I'll probably start down low, down on the bottom here. And we can see firsthand, this thing gonna work? Is it gonna work or is it not gonna work? I already see the aluminum expanding, the, the, the uh, a little bit of split right there you know we'll we'll check this out see how this works this is probably gonna be the last video on this car until a buddy of mine paints it because once this is all done I got some tires ordered they're not in yet but I'm going to put the tires on so we can load it on a trailer, bring it to his his paint shop. Um, I do have to reskin a wheel. Uh, the cover, the plastic covers, I, I, I didn't even know about that. I've watched a lot of the videos and stuff. This has uh, chrome plated plastic covers. So we're going to change one of those. So, all right. So I think that's good enough. So here we go. Give me a second, bear with me. I'm gonna get my helmet. And we're gonna blast this, so you guys ready? Yeah, I think I'm ready. Let's see what we can do. Wow super hot just like i thought hold on wow that's nasty that's not good not good so give me a second let me make my own adjustments on here uh maybe not gonna work but i'm gonna do it so give me a second Okay, just what I thought. Uh, so we need to, to lower the wire speed with the spool gun. Okay. And I have no idea. Go down to like 350. Wow, yeah, that was nasty. Let's try it one more time with my adjustments. Well, that's that's tagging it. Okay. So let me lower it a little more. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Okay, it's working. It's gonna it's gonna build up. Had I tried this uh, earlier on something, that's fine. But not a big deal. We'll figure it out. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm looking at that. I'm probably going to add, uh, I don't know, let's try a little less, little less wire. Okay, let's see what we got. Hit it with this stainless steel brush. Let's go again, okay? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit it toward the, the, the heavy side that I just melted. I'm going to put the wire toward the the uh where it already welded okay mm, well i can't say it's working that good okay so all right so let's turn down let's turn the heat down a little bit i gotta do that manually on the welder so i'm at 16 so let's turn it down a little bit. We'll go like 15, 15, 5. Uh, we're at 348 for the speed. 
So we're going to turn that down. Okay, we'll go down to. Uh, let's go to like 325. Okay, might not mean much to you guys, but all it is 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 heat versus melting wire. So. Um, I don't mind globbing the aluminum on there because it is melting the two pieces together. So uh, let's see what we got now. And you know what? That's not a big deal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more pass right here. Okay. I'll do one more pass right here in that little crack and I'll grind this off and then we'll see what it looks like. Did it work or didn't it work? I don't, I don't really know. So hold on. All right, maybe it did. It looks like a pile of you know what, but uh, I'll be back in a bit. All right, so in the end this worked out pretty good. So where the black lines are is where the uh, it's a, actually a welding term the globular type and it looks like pigeon you know what um it's built up but it all it all tied into that aluminum structure um where that red line is is where the crack is so that's all taken care of now so this will not flex so that's all done so when you do the body work on the hood right here uh we're all set the hood a good hood probably would have cost, I don't know, uh, five, six, seven hundred dollars. And one that you, uh, you still would have ended up doing body work to, you know, the little pits. Because believe it or not, those are little dings if you want something to look nice. But anyway, so I saved some money doing that thanks to my uh, father and my brother. And uh, that's about it. So the next time you see the car, I will probably have it all painted because it's going to go to a, a friend of mine's body shop and uh, That's about it. So Thanks for watching if there's any changes um, I will update you on that. Thanks a lot guys